Well, court is back in session on the fan favorite drama All Rise, and it's a season of new beginnings in every corner of the courthouse. But Judge Lola Carmichael, played by Simone Missick, is also facing a blast from her past by way of her ex. Take a look. Mr. Dunham, do you understand that by pleading no contest, you are giving up your rights to a trial and all rights associated with a trial? Yes, Your Honor. The defendant has agreed to accept three years of summary probation, penalties totaling $5,000, a three-month court-approved alcohol education program, and restitution to the injured party. Is that correct? Excuse the interruption, Your Honor. But I think we can come up with more favorable terms, Mr. Dunn. Oh, and Simone's with us now. Welcome back. I said, oh, I bet you could. <laughs> Listen, it feels like we are seeing a whole new side to Lola this season, you know, from her ex who we just saw coming back mm -hmm. to just life outside the courthouse. Where's where's her head at right now? Is this like Lola 2.0? I would say that this is Lola on 10, really. <laughs> she's. It's funny, this season I wanted her to be messier. I wanted for the fans to really be able to see her kind of struggle with things. Yeah, be real. I didn't anticipate it was going to be this much. And honestly, I don't know how the fans are going to take it. Are they just going <laughs> to drag me by my ponytail all over the internet? But it's fun. It's yeah. exciting. We're in the third season of the show. and. Getting to go home with her and to kind of see what those relationships, you know, are in her past is fun. It's fun to explore that. Yeah, yeah and the show moved from CBS to OWN, mm -hmm. which kind of leaves a little more room for some colorful language, mm. some steamy scenes. Yes. Did you kind of approach this season with kind of like a different mindset of I'm going to mix it up a little? Yeah, I knew I had to work out a little bit harder for those <laughs> steamy scenes. Um, you know, we knew that the third season we wanted to go home with everybody. So everybody is giving a little bit more with a little less clothes okay. on. But it also, it, it helps to really ground these characters and connect with our audience yeah. in a different kind of way, which is nice, you know, to be able to go a little deeper, not just with the language, but with the stories that we're yeah. telling. And is the cast having more fun with that altogether? I, I can't even tell you that we're just having fun, you yeah. know. The whole second season, it was in the height of COVID. We kept our distance even from one another. And so this season, we're back to, you know, laughing and joking and dancing yeah. on set and just having a good time. Oh, and, good. You know, when we read those scripts at our table reads, it's like, whoop. <laughs> Who's yeah. not wearing clothes this episode? <laughs> it's, it's funny. You're like, lucky it's not me. It's yeah. you. <laughs> uh, but what does it feel like to have Oprah Winfrey kind of the support of her to have her, you know, can carry this show to continue yes. on. You know, I for years had Miss Winfrey on vision boards and who didn't? I mean, seriously, <laughs> right? No. And you never know how God is going to bring it together. But for her to be a fan of the show and to believe in the stories that we tell yeah. in the diverse images that we have on screen, it, it means a lot because I grew up watching her show. Yeah. And so to feel like she sees us in the work that we're doing yeah. and, and stands behind it and wants to share it with her audience, it's a tremendous honor. Yeah, and you're an exec producer now too. So what does that mean for you? A lot more emails. A lot more <laughs> yeah. phone calls and, yeah. and Zooms, but <laughs> it's all just such a blessing because I believe in the show. Yeah. I was a fan of the show, being on the show, and now to be able to make sure that music is like extra spot on. Not that it wasn't already, but yeah. to go like, hey guys, what if we use this song here? And to know actors that I've known for years who don't necessarily get a chance to be able to introduce them to our producers and they book the job. I just worked last yeah. week with a friend I've known for 15 years oh, how as an actor. And she's like, this is the first job I've had all year. And it's like, wow, that yeah. means so much. That means a lot. I mean, this show takes on a lot of tough topics, yes. I have to say, but I feel like at the root of it, there's this underlying hopefulness. Yeah. Did you guys lean into that because of what, what we had all been through, do you think? I think so. You know, from the beginning, that was what the analogy was. It was like, there should always be a little girl with a balloon in her hand, yeah. where the balloon doesn't take her off, but it doesn't ground her down either. Yeah. we got to keep it afloat. And so we've always tried to have humor balanced with these serious topics. But this season, with everything that we're going with, yeah. And dealing with globally, we really did want to make sure we still found that light in yeah. every episode, and we do. And there are moments where you're busting out laughing, and then you're crying in the next. Like, I think it's a, a genius aspect of our show. It's a perfect mix. Thank you. Yes, and so are you. Oh. <laughs> you can catch All Rise Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on OWN. Simone, thank you so much. Thank you.